I'm Seaweed and this is my husband Jesse and we are Travel Suit Project. Welcome to another episode of Fair Antics. Simple fare for simple folk. It's a low carb cooking show with kind of a silly twist to it. And today Jesse is going to be teaching us pork tenderloin medallions. Shut your face! Shut your face, Gap! Is that funny? Shut your face, Gap! No, shut your face, Gap, too! Like Kenny Lee. <laughs> you trying to say I look like a boy? No. Did you just call me a boy? Did you just call me a boy? Hey, so today we're going to be making tenderloin medallions. Now traditionally, a lot of times people will take a, a pork tenderloin and, and put it in the, the crock pot because it's something you can start in the morning time when you get home from working all day, your food is pretty much done. Uh, but we've kind of taken a twist on that. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and brown this up a little bit on the frying pan and then we're going to slice it into the thin medallions and cook them up that way and they really have a nice taste. It's a lot easier and faster to cook that way. We're going to be making also some broccoli vegetables. Going to put some peppers in there, uh, some garlic. Of course, you've got to have our seasonings. Uh, something if you're having a, if you have sodium issues, you can use some no salt. Uh, we have some onion powder, some Mrs. Dash. Your seasonings are pretty much whatever you enjoy the taste of. And now we're going to go ahead and open all these things up and go ahead and start. Why don't you watch this? <laughs> I hope that's aimed at us. Playing with our selfie stick. Oh my god. Stupid. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> now cut it out. It's a family show. It's a family show. Okay, so we've unpackaged our meat and our vegetables and put them in the frying pan. We're going to turn our meat on on medium heat and we're going to add some olive oil to our vegetables. And we're going to turn that on a little less than medium, just to warm up the oil and get everything going. Next we're going to take our red peppers, drain the water out, dump them out on our cutting board, and we're going to slice them up a little bit thinner. up, make them a little bit easier to handle with a fork and with the vegetables. And then we'll just go ahead and push them right into the vegetables. And it adds a little color to your broccoli. We'll sprinkle a little onion powder on our meat. Put onion powder in our vegetables. Like I always say, I like to use the Italian seasoning mix for the salad dressing for seasoning vegetables because it just works out really good. And again, we're just going to sprinkle that right on top of our vegetables like that. You don't have to use all of it. You can save the others for the next time. Uh, no salt. Allows you to be a little bit more liberal with it and not to worry about your heart stuff. For the some garlic, we're just gonna take just a, a little bit of garlic and put it in the vegetable mix as well. And while this gets started, you can watch this. Okay, so um I did put it on the so that I can know what I'm gonna say. I have to tell you what we're gonna say so that I know what we're gonna say. <laughs> Good thing we said what we said we were gonna say what we said. So you're going to say, hi, I'm Jesse, and this is my wife. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> I'm your bag! Hi, I'm Jesse, and this is my wife, Seaweed, and we're from... I'm Jesse. I'm Jesse. Who are you trying to pull? I'll bring a sharp 
Wait, what? I'll bring a shark. You'll be pulling me out of the water to the shark. There. I thought you said a shark and like you were an elfling. It's a gelfling, not an elfling. Well, I think you would be gelfling with the shark. I think that they would be much better if they were elflings. Maybe there wouldn't be just two anymore. Okay, so we've browned the outside of our tenderloin and we're going to take it off the heat now and we're going to go ahead and cut this up. Now, as you can also tell, we've put a cover lid on our vegetables because we want the, the temperature to get in there good and hot so those vegetables will cook nice and, nice and easily. Now, what we're going to do is here, we're just going to cut these up into you know, thin slices. It's always good to have that nice kitchen sharp knife in there. And one of the advantages doing it this way is that it does cook a lot faster being that you're cooking up small pieces of meat rather than one big hunk of meat. You can tell this ain't no Thanksgiving turkey so you don't have to be too neat about it. <laughs> now once we got all of them ready we're just gonna pop them back in our pan here. And then we're going to put it back on the heat. If you were going to add any additional seasoning, seasonings, now would be a good time. I was going to throw some Mrs. Dash on there, some herb and onion mix in there. And what we'll do is we'll put the heat back on them and uh, we'll let them brown. You should also stir your vegetables every so often. Just so you can keep an eye on them, making sure that the broccoli is getting cooked nice. As you can see, the nice color combinations of the green and the red. We'll keep on cooking. And we'll go ahead and brown these, and, and you guys can watch this. Comedy. Say it. Say comedy, Cabbage Girl. Come on, Cabbage Girl. Whoa. No, look, it's baseball. I like cabbage. You like cabbage. You like malfoof. What? <laughs> you said you like malfoof. You sure do have a pretty mouth. <laughs> Malfoof means cabbage. So when you're going dunk a duck a duck a 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 that's cabbage. Are you worth your cabbage? Dunk a duck a duck a 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 duck a dunk a duck a duck a dunk a duck 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 a what is he watching over there? I don't know. I know he likes baseball. Oh. No, no, no. He's watching racing. Oh. That's the kind of clothes they wear, right? Uh. What? No, it's comedy. <laughs> <laughs> racing to comedy. So as you can see, we finished up cooking, we've got it on a plate, it looks beautiful, and now we're going to head and taste it. Low carb and taste great. That's really good, honey. Thanks for watching guys. We hope you learned something and had fun watching as well. If you liked the video, please don't be afraid to hit that like button for us. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down below. Check out our website. Send an email. And until next time guys, happy cooking and happy living. Bye.